Ladies and gentlemen, I want us to look at the possible ways in which the results of AUC elections can affect the relationship between Raila Odinga and William Ruto moving forward. If that is some subject you are interested in, stay tuned. And if you're watching for the first time, take a moment, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss subsequent videos. Otherwise, let us move right into the subject of the day. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, let me share with you a brief history of the relationship between Raila Odinga and William Ruto, just in case you didn't know. Raila Odinga and William Ruto met in Kanu. Kanu uh, and NDP had just merged to form new Kanu in which Raila Odinga was now the Secretary General. He replaced uh, Kamodo. He was now the Secretary General of the party. Uh, after a while, Raila, and, uh, uh, Raila realized that uh, Moi was not going to endorse him for uh, the presidency. Moi instead chose Uhuru Kenyatta, and so Raila left with a bunch of Kanu stalwarts. Ruto did not leave. Ruto remained with Uhuru. Of course, they lost. Raila and his team of Kibaki won overwhelmingly. But after a while, Kibaki and Raila were not in good terms, and so Raila started uh, opposing the government from within. Within a short time, uh, Raila found himself again in the camp of Ruto, uh, who were in the position uh, to prove their might. They opposed the worker draft, which was um, a constitutional amendment proposition through a referendum. And out of that, ODM was born. A while after a while, Kalonzo decided to leave with the ODM party, uh, thanks to Maanzo, and uh, Raila had to look for another party. Fortunately, one uh, Mugambi, Mugambi Imanyara, I think I've got the name right, Mugambi Imanyara uh, had ODM registered, and so ODM party, uh, Raila acquired ODM party. They went for nomination at Kasarani, and uh, Raila was declared the winner, with Mudavadi becoming the runners-up. And so it was like Raila becomes the president, Mudavadi will be the deputy president, and of course William Ruto was to be the prime minister in that new arrangement. Elections were done, uh, 2007 happened, Kibaki refused to uh, hand over power, instead he was sworn in, even though he had lost the election. Uh, there was post-election violence, very dark history that every Kenya should regret. After a while, peace was found. Ruto and Raila found themselves in Kibaki's government again. Uh, Ruto was now the minister for um, agriculture. Oh, within a short time, in fightings within ODM, some people told Raila that Ruto is out to uh, outshine him, will be so popular that by 2012, we, that is when the elections were supposed to be done, by 2012, Ruto will be so popular that people would want to vote for him. So Raila decided to embark on uh, ways of uh, handling Ruto politically. So ODM uh, deputy party position, which was uh, just meant for William Ruto, was split into two. So there were two deputies. So there were two deputies to check. Um, Davadi now became a deputy party leader and um, and uh, Ruto was also a deputy party leader. But that was not enough. These people still told Raila that uh, the best thing you can do is to uh, finish Ruto now, because if you don't, he will become so influential and uh, we will not be in a position to control him. And so Raila uh, launched an onslaught, painted Ruto as corrupt, even fired him, convinced Kibaki to fire Ruto, and Ruto was fired from government. After a while, Ruto and Uhuru joined forces, one in 2013, of course, Raila was Ruto's enemy then. Uh, Raila was not very fond of Ruto then, 2017. Now, in 2022, uh, Raila and Ruto found themselves on the ballot competing against each other. Ruto won. Um, uh, after a while, after the court processes and everything, Raila Dinga um, decided that he was not convinced by the ruling of the court. There was some manda mano here and there. But in uh, June 2023, after, I think July, Ju around June, July 2023, after the uh, demos, uh, Raila and Ruto sat down in Mombasa and uh, talked. It was not the ideal thing to do, talking with Raila after Ruto had promised that he would not do so. 
but he is the president of 53 or 54 million Kenyans and he doesn't have the luxury of playing petty politics so he had to look at the benef uh, at what benefits the entire country and nothing is important to Kenya than having a peaceful environment without peaceful environment ladies and gentlemen you cannot even transact business and the country will collapse so uh, Ruto uh, uh, did the uh, unthinkable did what went against his own promises and uh, agreed to have a talk with Rail Odinga. And this talk was uh, done at uh, Bomas. It was called the National Dialogue, where uh, Ichungwa and Kalonzo Msioka were co chairs. After a while, uh, Raila was still not very cozy with Ruto. I think uh, the turning point was when some politicians used some young people in the name of Gen Z's to cause uh, anarchy in the country and they expected Raila to join. Raila said that in his own wisdom he has tried anarchy, it has not worked and so he prefers that dialogue is the best way because in dialogue you don't lose lives, you don't lose property and uh, Raila and Ruto were now again on the same page and then broad based government was formed I think with consultation with uh, Raila Odinga. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope the history was not too long but it, is, it was important so that you understand how these gentlemen have related over the years. It has been up and down. Uh, friendship, acrimony, friendship. But one thing, they don't look like they hate each other. So, elections of AUC are due in February 2025. There are four candidates with top candidates being Raila Odinga of Kenya and Mahmoud of Djibouti. Other candidates are from uh, Madagascar and Mauritius. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we want to look at what happens if Raila wins. How does it affect the relationship of Raila Odinga and Ruto moving forward? And what happens should Raila lose? What are the impacts? How will it impact the relationship between Raila Odinga and Ruto moving forward? Let's begin with him winning. If he wins, as I expect it to happen, Ruto literally inherits the Luo vote. Because there will be that gratitude. For the second time, Rai Lodinga would have won an election, and it would be thanks to William Ruto. The first time Rai Lodinga won an election, a presidential election, that is, was 2007 and it was because of Ruto's support and so if he was to win AU the AUC chairmanship seat it will also be due to William Ruto's efforts. Raila supporters from Luonyanza, part of Western, Ni part of Nairobi and Coast will feel that they owe William Ruto some gratitude and so you I won't be surprised if the support for William Ruto goes to the rooftop. This has a serious advantage. If the support is overwhelming and mm, these Raila bases feel uh, that they owe William Ruto and uh, they decide to turn out in large numbers in 2027 to support William Ruto, I want to repeat here that William Ruto will win the election by a landslide. Because if you go with numbers, and if the turnouts are good, there is no way William Ruto loses election when he is backed by Raila's base. But ladies and gentlemen, there are also, another, there are also other options. Raila might win elections at AUC, and this is politics. He might still come back and tell his people that you are free to vote the way you want. I am not going to pick for you whoever you are going to choose. You see, that is possible. Raila might win AUC. He will not be involved in local politics. And so, maybe to settle a score with Ruto or whatever, he might come back and say, I don't want to choose for you who to elect come 2027. I am no longer in politics make your own decision and you see with that it complicates things because 
while a considerable number will feel the, that they owe William Ruto gratitude, without the express endorsement of Raila Odinga, it becomes a little bit tricky. Some people who perhaps have issues with Ruto and are supporters of Raila Odinga will feel like it is a chance for them to uh, pay back or punish William Ruto. The other option under if he wins is that he can just uh, do the uh, the cold betrayal. He can come and say, um, I'm now in AUC, but I feel like uh, Kalonzo Musioka has supported me for a long time. And uh, while I'm grateful for what William Ruto has done, I am telling my people to support Kalonzo. So a, quite a good number will listen to what Raila has said and they will support Kalonzo. But a uh, uh, sizable number also will support Ruto. But this will divide Raila's base. It will be some of them will listen to Raila and support uh, Kalonzo. But others will feel like we owe this guy for helping Raila and they will see Raila as a betrayer, as a traitor. And so they will stick with Ruto. But it will not be a sizable number, not a good number, not a block that he needs to win decisively. If Raila wins AUC, it can either be he comes home, he says, William Ruto, I thank you. And he says, my people, this man stood with me. I am urging you, stand with him. Raila uh, Ruto will inherit, I tell you, will inherit Raila Dinga's political base. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is some serious base. It will get him re-elected by a landslide. Raila Dinga, like I've said, also can come and say, I am neutral on these particular elections. Make your own decision. And they can come, and, and that will affect Ruto in that there are few people who there are also a considerable number that is feeling like while we support Raila but we also have some scores to settle with Ruto they might not and uh, support Ruto now that they are given freedom to choose and the third option ladies and gentlemen and under Raila winning uh, if Raila was to win is that he can come and endorse somebody else he can come and say uh, I am endorsing Kalonzo Musioka He's been with me for some time, ETC, it's time to pay back. William Ruto, thank you for this, but let me also do this. So he might, he, he would just have betrayed uh, Ruto, raw betrayal, that is. And um, that is if he was to win. But what about if he was to lose? And this is important because the entire strategy of what if you've, uh, if, if, if we were to be honest, depends on Raila Odinga losing and uh, turning against Ruto. Because that is their belief that should Raila Odinga lose AUC, he will turn against Ruto. He will feel like Ruto did not give him whatever Ruto promised. And so the first um, possibility is that should Raila lose AUC, he can come back and still stick with Ruto and just say what he said uh, during the Gen Z's demos, that given a choice between the team that was being led by Rigadi and that being led by Ruto, he would rather be with Ruto. So that is one possibility. He can come back, say we gave it our all, we tried, we did everything possible. It seems it was not our chance again as a country but I'm still sticking with William Ruto up to 2027 and I tell my people, ODM will not field a candidate. We are going to stand with William Ruto. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter what would have happened. Raila Odinga's support and endorsement for William Ruto means that William Ruto will win. But the other option is he comes back and a very angry man and he says, now that I did not get AUC, why can't I buy? And this goes to the strategy of what Murima, the ones who are uh, really bitter with Ruto and Raila. And they are saying that they are waiting for Raila Odinga to lose. They are very sure that he is, is going to lose. I don't know based on what. Um, they are even cooking things. Somebody will even tell you, oh, the uh, Faki endorsed Mahmoud. I don't know. Very funny stories. But it keeps them going anyway, so it's okay. Uh, they are saying that they wait for Raila to lose. And once he loses, they convince him to vie with the promise that they are going to support him this time. And so let's say Raila comes from AUC and is a bitter man and he feels like uh, enough was not done to help him, ETC. Okay? And now he turns against Ruto. 
remember the broad-based government will end that day okay because most of these odm leaders uh would want would rather be on raila's good side which is equivalent to being on the good side of the voters than to oppose raila Odinga. so that is what you have there he will come back he might want to vie and if he chooses to vie ladies and gentlemen he is not going to win guaranteed but then that splits the votes so that we are going to have what we call a runoff and in a runoff uh, you only need a simple majority and so it makes it very difficult it it makes it challenging for william ruto to uh, win re-election because either he becomes number two and he goes for a rerun or if he finds himself at number one he still goes for a rerun and uh, and unfortunate case if he finds himself at number three he goes home and uh, so if raila was to vie which is the plan uh, by mount kenya people uh, and they are saying that loudly i'm not creating this is that raila vice so that they can use that division to punish ruto uh, ruto's chances of being re-elected are very minimal and the relationship between him and raila Odinga may go back to what it was between 2013 and and uh, 2017 or between 2017 and 2022 not very cozy not very a good one and so the celebration you saw in Kondele may turn into stoning if Ruto goes there the third option if Raila was to lose is when is where he's bitter still but he says he's not going to vie he's just going to join uh, with Kalonzo Msioka and um, with the Mulema and then uh, uh, fight and then uh, and then uh, deal with ruto okay ruto will still get some few votes from raila's base but not enough to make a difference so in that case whoever raila and mulima endorses like i've said will emerge the victor in 2027 so ladies and gentlemen just as a recap there are two outcomes that we can expect from auc either raila wins or he loses if he wins there are chances of him sticking with Ru endorsing ruto sticking with him etc and also there are chances of him still being uh, cocky and betraying ruto uh, that is possible this politics and betraying ruto by either saying he's neutral or simply endorsing somebody else and if he loses he can also still be a gentleman and say uh, william ruto gave his all i also gave my all it was not our turn as a country yet i'm still sticking with ruto up to 2027 and then Ruto wins, actually by a landslide. But uh, he can also come and say he is vying, and uh, then you have a rerun, a, a runoff, and also he might decide to endorse somebody like, let's say, Kalonzo, and then Ruto becomes a, uh, a one term. I just wanted to clear the air on what are the possible uh, effects or impact of AUC on local politics. If you found this useful, ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video and share it with friends. Otherwise, allow me to thank you for taking your time and watching uh, these videos. I really appreciate you for standing with this channel. Let us meet in the next video.